exotic is a really striking cat. It's the second most popular cat, trailing right behind the Persian. The exotic is a great lap cat. They're very easygoing. And for that reason, these soft, sweet, round-shaped cats are affectionately nicknamed the Lazy Man's Persian. The exotic is basically a Persian without the long hair. This is a real quiet cat. They enjoy hooking on to one person in the family for loyal companionship, and they'll graciously sit right in front of you quietly until you give them what they want. It's impossible to not smile when you look at an exotic. The exotic short hair is a mixture between the Persian and the American short hair. At first, they called the hybrid cat a sterling because of its color. But the Cat Fanciers Association has ruled this fluffy breed should be called the exotic. The cat still is known in some circles as the exotic short hair. The exotic is a medium to large sized cat that is muscular and heavily boned. Males can weigh up to 14 pounds, while females are a little lighter, ranging between 6 and 10 pounds. Kind of linebacker short neck, and the cobbly legs, and a muscular little body. Its coat accentuates the cat's round shape. It's thick and plush, and comes in a wide array of colors and patterns. The coat is actually still very plush. It doesn't feel like a normal short hair cat. And its head is huge. They do have a big head, yeah. Round with a wide skull that sits on top of its short, thick neck. They look like a little teddy bear because they have that little pushkin face and the big round eyes. They've got fat little cheeks. They almost look like a Cheshire cat. There are two distinctive facial types for the exotic, the traditional, or the extreme. And it's the extreme that has a flatter and more pushed-in looking face. As charming and cute as that very smushy face is, with that face also comes potential health problems. Beautiful and cuddly and worthy of the canvas, the exotic can be prone to breathing issues. That's primarily because of its shortened face. They can become pretty snuffly and snortery. Every day if you take a little Q-tip, cotton ball, and you clean out those wrinkles, your cat's going to be a lot healthier and a lot happier. As for grooming, get your brush out. They have lots of hair and need weekly grooming. Even though the coat isn't very long, it can still mat. And while they don't mat up like Persians, they shed. And are they a good pet for a family? Yes, because they're so laid back. They are just so mellow, and they get along with everybody. So in general, because of the exotic smushed-in face, they can't have health problems. They need to be groomed weekly. And they make good family pets because of their pleasantly calm personalities.